Hey everybody, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, I've got a lot of bait making, rig tying, carp and catfish videos on this channel. If those are things that you're interested in, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow, and it's greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, you can comment on the videos or message us on Facebook. We try to respond rather quickly. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to be doing a soybean meal with syrup pack bait recipe. And uh, this recipe was sent to me from Dylan Vest through Facebook. He's one of our subscribers. It's a little bit different than the one I've already got uploaded. I figured we'd do a video on this. That way it gives you guys another option. And to start out with, it's a pretty simple recipe. We're gonna need 10 cups of soybean meal. We'll go ahead and measure that out. So bear with us for just a minute. It's two cups. Four cups. Six cups. That's eight cups. And that's gonna be 10 cups. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and weigh out 10 cups as well. And then that way for somebody that, uh, you know, just wants to do it based off of weight, they'll know what that is as well. All right, we've got our scale zeroed out. So let's dump it into this container and we'll see how much 10 cups of bean meal weighs. Looks like it's right at four pounds. So if you're gonna go by weight, you'll need four pounds of bean meal. All right, the next step is gonna be measuring out two cups of flour. And this is just all purpose flour. Try not to make a mess. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Go ahead and dump that into your bucket. And now we're gonna mix it up. Make sure you get, get it mixed thoroughly throughout the bean mill. It'll take a couple minutes, so just take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Never be in a hurry when you're mixing your bait. All right, I think we got it pretty good. Let's move on to the next step. Now we're gonna need 16 ounces of Cairo or comparable syrup. guys know that I usually heat mine up in the microwave before I proceed but I've been pretty sick for the last couple weeks and uh, today we're gonna do it without heating it up I don't feel like walking upstairs 
then come them back down. So we're gonna go ahead and mix our flavor in now. If you heat the syrup up for about a minute, it does make it a little bit easier to mix the flavor in, but it's not mandatory. Now uh, this is gonna be a hog sauce black raspberry, and his recipe calls for half a bottle. That's about what I had in that, so that's why I chose this. And while we're mixing this up, it'll be a good time for you guys to hit that like and subscribe button. We do have a giveaway coming up. We've met our subscriber goal. And uh, we've got some good stuff that's gonna be in there. As soon as I get to feeling a little bit better, we'll do a video on it on what you need to do to enter. Uh, to have a chance at winning, you do need to be a subscriber though. All right, that's good enough. We're gonna go ahead and dump it in. Keep your spatula handy. It makes it a lot easier. Scrape the sides of your uh, mixing cup, get all your syrup out. Also, if you heat it up, it comes out of there a lot easier. We'll go ahead and get to mixing this up. We're supposed to get a little bit of warm weather here next week. If we do, maybe we'll get a chance to get out and do a little bit of fishing. We'll have some bean meal made up just in case, anyway. You're going to want to take your time, mix this up so there's no dry spots on the bottom. So this is a very similar recipe to the one I've got uploaded. Looks like pretty much the only difference is I don't use flour in mine. Um, I'm going to guess using the flour is going to make it take a little bit longer to break down and that's probably a good thing. Bean milk breaks pretty quick. So if you're fishing really deep water, that, that's going to help it out. Again, since we didn't thin out the uh, syrup by putting it in the microwave, it's a little bit harder to mix, so it'll take a little bit longer. Being a syrup bait, it'll take a little bit to set up as well. Bean meal doesn't take too long, maybe a couple of hours. All right, I think we got it. We'll go ahead and uh, clean our hand off. Spatula makes that nice and easy. Just scrape it off. And uh, we'll bring the camera in here, give you guys a look at the finished product. And after it's set up and ready to go, we'll also do a breakdown test on it and see how long it takes to break down. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and this bait's ready to go. I'm gonna wet my hand up, pack us a ball up, and we'll get a breakdown on it for you. So 
but it does pack really well. I'm sure I could sling it a mile. All right, let's see what we got. And I apologize if I'm not as energetic in this video. Said I've been sick. My whole family's been sick. Seem to just keep passing it back and forth is what it seems like. That's why we're holding off on the giveaway for just a little bit till I feel a little bit better. And you can tell it's baking, breaking pretty quickly. Most bean mill recipes do break pretty quick. I'd say most of them are broke down in less than two minutes. Now this one here, it looks like it's gonna be, it's almost fully broke down now. So it'll be probably before that two minute mark. All right, looks like it's completely broken down. So probably about a minute and a half or so, be my guess. And uh, we do appreciate y'all watching and tuning in. And we hope you have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll catch y'all on the next one. We're trying to do a video, trying to have them all uploaded. Uh, one every Friday is what we're shooting for right now. So take care, guys.